Morning guys, Saturday, September 23rd, and I'm gonna have some garage sales today. Also wanna do a quick programming note, the reseller six pack show is on Shane's channel this week. He is the rise and grind picker. Uh, so make sure to tune into that. It's gonna be Sunday night, eight o'clock Eastern. All right, now let's hit some garage sales. All right guys, I apologize, it's a little bit dark. It's only seven o'clock, but I just left the first sale, picked up some Rydell hockey skates. Rydell is known for their figure skates and it's a really good brand of figure skates. So I was kind of surprised to see hockey skates by Rydell. I've never seen hockey skates by them. These are really clean, they're a bigger size, so I know Played Again is gonna want them. Um, I looked them up on eBay. There were only 10 completed used pairs of Rydell hockey skates. Uh, however, hardly any of them sold. So. I guess they're not really known for their hockey skates. However, when I looked them up, I did notice that there were some Rydell roller skates that sold for like three to four hundred dollars. So, I guess a good bolo for you guys: Rydell roller skates, and it's a uh, R I E D E L L. All right, on to the next sale. Oh, I paid five bucks for these, by the way. And I should get probably 15, I think. Just found a dining room table and chairs. And I think my mother-in-law is looking for a set. So I might give it to her. It was 25 bucks. I figure if she doesn't want it, I would still flip it and make some pretty good money on it. Also got some Pyrex balls and some Bengal glasses. I'll show you guys all that stuff once we get back to the warehouse. Just picked up a bunch of stuff in this neighborhood. I got the Saturday Night Live game for 50 cents. This Red Stein uh, for like three bucks because I bundled it with a bunch of stuff. This Coach Purse for five. And I got some Moan or Moen, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, faucets. Uh, new in the box, they just decided not to use them. Got four for 50 bucks, or no, 45 bucks. I don't know, I bundled a bunch of stuff together, but it wasn't very much, and those seemed to sell pretty well on eBay. All right, I'm headed to the other side of town for a neighborhood sale. Today I've left a business card with three people that said they had video games and I'm hoping they call back. My percentage with that is about 10%, I'd say. Um, you know, one out of every 10 or so will call me back and try to work something out. Um, I'm curious, how do you guys do with that? If you leave a number or a business card or something, what are your odds? How well do you guys do with uh, people calling you back? Leave a comment below, let me know. I'm curious to see if you guys have had success with that. Just bought a Tactile Piccolo Metronome for a dollar. Don't know if it's worth anything, but couldn't pass it up for a buck. Also got a couple watches. Uh, this is a Seiko, and this is an a Lang and Sone or something. I don't know. They were two bucks a piece. So that was a pretty good deal. Also got this little um, compact uh, laptop. I um, can't remember what they call the small ones though. Netbook maybe? I'll pull that out when we get back to the warehouse. I just had a huge score. I spent $100 on one sale. Got three big boxes of stuff. But way too much to show you right now. I'm headed back to the warehouse and I'll unload everything and show you guys what I got.
Alright guys, let's take a look at everything. I'm gonna do my best to not show you what I've already shown you, so I apologize if I show you something twice. Got a couple shirts, they're nothing exciting. I got them for a buck each, they're my size, so I'm just gonna keep them. Got a couple Harley bikes for four bucks. Got this milkshake maker for five. Got this Holly Jolly Rock Santa for three bucks. And it should sell for like 25 to 30, it looks like. Got an LCD digital metal detector. That's plastic, so I don't know how good it is. Um, it retailed for 40 bucks originally, and it was only a dollar, so had to get that. These are the Moan or Moan or whatever um, faucets. So I got two, two of these kits. Kind of hard to see everything in there. And I got two of these. And for the four, I paid about 45 bucks. I think for the four, I should be able to get around 200 or so, maybe more. These boxes were free. There's like more inside of them. Somebody just put them at the end of their street for the free tag, so I took those. They were also giving away this big fan. This is for like a big blow up toy um, that kids play with. And I think these sell for a decent price. So hopefully it works. Got this Slage touchscreen deadbolt. They were asking 40, I got it for 25, and I think it sells for about 80 to 100, maybe a little bit more, but it's still sealed. I never used it. I got these uh, comic signs and metal signs and wood stuff. Uh, I got five for eight bucks at one sale. Got some Wii games, uh, an Xbox game. I got these five for a dollar each. Got some Pyrex mixing bowls. I got three of them all together uh, for three dollars. The colored ones always do really well. For the three, I should get 20, 25 bucks for them on my website. One sale I went to, I asked if the guy had video games. He said he did and he brought a bunch out. He brought out PS3 and N64. I got I paid 25 bucks. I got eight PS3 games. Um, Assassin's Creed, another Assassin's Creed, another Assassin's Creed, uh, Final Fantasy 12, God of War, Portal, Portal 2. So yeah, pretty good titles. They're not sports titles, so I think I should do okay on those. But the N64 titles were the better ones. So got Harvest Moon 64. That's a $40 game. Uh, Space Station Silicon Valley. I'd never seen this one. I was hoping it was worth more. It looks like about 15, 20 bucks. Banjo-Kazooie, that's about a $10 game or so. Wave Race 64, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Cruising USA. Got this Game Shark Pro. And two rumble packs. So pay 25 bucks for all that. I should get a hundred pretty easily. Picked up these Nerf 3DS cases. They're still in the packaging. I got them for a dollar fifty each. I'm hoping I can get maybe 20 each for them. 15, something like that. I know the used ones even sell pretty well, so I would think the new ones I should get some pretty good money for these. I got this telescope. Um, it looks old, but it's not very old. But it's still cool. They're asking 20 and I got it for 10. It works too. And I think this is brass. I'll have to put a magnet to it, but I think it's brass. Pretty nice piece. Got a Nintendo Wii with a bunch of games for 25. 
that was the game in there I wanted the most. That should bring around 15. Um, but other than that, the games aren't super special. There were some random rock band pieces in here. Uh, I guess these are like the wireless things. I'm not sure if these are the dongles or not, but I know sometimes these miscellaneous Guitar Hero and Rock Band pieces can bring some decent money. Got this hammock for 10 bucks, sealed in the box. Got some other big stuff too. I'm gonna have to walk you guys over there to show you. Got this Huffy bike for 15. I think they call this style a beach comber. Uh, it's pretty clean, pretty nice bike. I should be able to get 40 to 50 for it, I think. It's a Huffy, so I doubt it was more than like 125 new. And then this is the table and chair set. I've already talked to my mother-in-law. She doesn't want it, so I threw it online really quick, and I've got a buyer that's going to come get it. Okay, so my mega haul that I spent 100 bucks on is all kind of right in here. I'm going to pull it all out for you guys and show you. All right, it's hard to get all this in one shot, so I'm just going to have to kind of go down the line and show you guys. I've got a total of 95 pieces, I think I counted. Uh, I paid 100 bucks for everything, so I'm into each piece for about a dollar on average, just a little over a dollar. Um, I got some artwork. It's like a superhero. Uh, Superman, sorry. Superman uh, canvas print. There's five of these Justice League. Ninja Turtles, some Pokemon glasses, or some Harry Potter artwork. q -pop figure, Star Wars kettle, some other action figures. I had to stop the video because they did come pick up my table and chairs. Paid 25, sold it for 50. Probably could have got more, but with that quick of a flip, I'm happy to double my money. Okay, picking up where we left off. I got a lot of these Titan vinyl figures. They're not worth a lot, but it seems like they're selling for around 10 bucks fairly consistent, consistently. And he had more, but these three brands were the best that I could tell of resale. So he had some Rocco's Modern Life plush and Ren and Stimpy, and I just had to get those. I remember those shows when I was a kid. Some Pokemon stuff, some Tumblr glasses. Um, Batman nesting dolls, Power Ranger nesting dolls, R2-D2 toy, some more Marvel artwork, Harry Potter stuff, just a whole bunch of stuff. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.